Well, keeping a clean and cosy home this winter could be doing you more harm than good. Toxic home syndrome describes the potentially dangerous build-up of indoor pollutants from common cleaners, detergents and air fresheners. But there are some simple ways to keep your home safe and spotless. Have a look. Mother of three, Sophie Gould regularly sprays, wipes and spritzes. To keep her home spick and span. Probably my top priority with the little ones running around. The antibacterial wipes I probably use every day, just wiping down the high chair, their tables and chairs, things like that. But this keenness for cleanliness could trigger toxic home syndrome, an invisible build-up of indoor pollutants linked to common health problems from skin and eye irritations to headaches and asthma. You walk into a home and you get that lemon fresh scent. What that tells you is that you're breathing in aerosolised and evaporated products and they may not be very good for you. Whilst they may smell good, it might be harmful. I do actually get eczema and I have hand dermatitis as well and two of my children get eczema as well. Air quality tests in Sophie's home by building biologist Nicole Bowsmer reveals high levels of volatile organic compounds, a cocktail of chemical vapours circulating after just a few squirts of a common cleaner. This is pretty normal, unfortunately. This is pretty normal. And this is what you're breathing in. The air around a fragrance diffuser is so concentrated that the chemical sensor hits its maximum reading. Most of these chemicals are skin and lung irritants. So we need to start changing our stance about what a healthy home is and it certainly isn't one that smells like bleach. There's one area of Sophie's home that is chemical free. You can see it significantly goes down to zero outside where there's fresh air and you don't have these chemicals in the indoor air affecting the meter. Common household products often contain a confusing list of ingredients. Most of the harmful ones are the ones that are man-made, that are synthetic, that we've never tested for their impact on human health. Over disinfecting and using hand wash too much and antibacterial cleaning products is actually driving our increasing rates of allergy. Scented candles and 24-hour air fresheners are a common feature in most modern homes and while they look nice and smell lovely, they are also contributing to the high chemical load. Health experts suggest switching to natural cleaning products such as Enyo cloths and gloves which remove surface bacteria using microfibers instead of chemicals. It actually cleans better than anything else out there because we don't leave any residue behind. Other ways to avoid toxic home syndrome include keeping your house well ventilated even in winter, opting where possible for chemical free cleaners and limit the use of scent sticks and artificial air fresheners. Now instead of creating a chemically clean house, this mum has a fresh focus. Having a healthy home is probably the most important for us. Yeah. A really interesting story by Emily Rice and some great advice for your really family. Really good advice. And the yeah. other, I mean, the only other option is um, during school holidays, for example, is just to get rid of the kids. Mm. Um, you know, for the duration of the school holidays. You could try that. Just send them camping. You're full of great own. parenting advice. <laughs> <laughs> well, I am an A1 parent. You There's are. no doubt about you that. You are, Carl. You are. Good Coming up. Kids.